PJ, you always talk about keeping yourself ready to play. What's it like this week when you know, yeah. Cam's getting as many reps as he is. Same as every week. Sort of. Same as every week for me. Same approach. Uh, God, that prepare, be ready, stay ready. Uh, that's all. PJ, is he trying to kind of cram a season's worth of stuff that you already know in with the offense? And you take it upon yourself to, to try to help him out with as much as, I, as much as I can. You know, um, I think the coaches are also doing a great job uh, taking initiative and just trying to help him as much as they, as they can as well. You know, but any questions that. You, that he know he has that I can always answer him. So um, I'm gonna help him as best as I can to get prepared and get ready to go this week. Would you be comfortable in a tandem role where both of you play? Uh, anything to help the same win. You know, anything to move it forward to help the same win. That's all that. That's all that matters to me. Um, yeah, that's my mindset. Just you know, help the same win and help us get better each week. Do you think you will? There will be a role for you Sunday. Not sure. Hoping so. Maybe. Uh, just never know. Oh, they still they still pretty physical up front. They're still big. They they strong guys and uh, on the back end, you know, they got some good players. You know, we just gotta be uh, we gotta go out there and play our game and trust what we do. You know, offensively, trust what we do and just try to find ways to get guys the football in space and let those guys make plays. DJ, when you look back at the game from Sunday, yeah. what parts of it were you most proud of? Third down conversions, I would say. Uh, we had some big third down conversions throughout the game that, you know, uh, that helped us, helped us put up points, helped us continue to uh, have drives go. So for me, it was the third down conversions was uh, huge. Was there a particular play that you thought, okay, this is what I can bring? It wasn't a particular play. I thought um, at times I made some big plays on like uh, one 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 slant to DJ on the, on third and two, thirty three. I thought the over route to Zilstra was pretty good as well. But uh, throughout the game, you know, things just things just start to flow and things just start to go, and you just start to play a game as you get comfortable and um, let it all play out. You guys seem to make such a good rhythm last week. How do you play that over now? started off with the defense. They started off getting us the football in field position, you know, be successful. And uh, <clears throat> it was only right that we capitalized off it and basically got, got some points out of that. You got a touchdown out of that, to be honest. Um, we needed a touchdown just to get going and show those guys that we're here to play, you know, especially for the defense. If they, if we show those guys that we can continue to get points in the, in the red zone and score and move the ball, those guys will be well rested. And that's a good thing for our defense. What's been your impressions of how they played? This year, and then particularly the last few weeks, what's been your impressions of how they've played? Watch them. I know. I'm, I'm talking about the defense. Oh, the, our defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Particularly the last few weeks. Um, I mean, I felt them. I felt it on OTAs. I felt the difference from last year and this year. To be honest, uh, you know, me being me being a quarterback and being going up against the ones at times, you know, during the scout team and things like that, you just feel that feel that presence, feel that defense that they that they have over there. And, you just feel the speed out there. You can feel the guys flying around. They communicate well. You can hear it. And for me, being on the other side of the ball, like I'm trying to figure out a lot of the things that they're doing. So I'm sure the quarterbacks, when we go when they go up against other high defense, they struggle as well. Just seeing the different things that they do, different blitz packages, and things like that. Is there anything? Ron said that called uh, Cam a force of nature. What's that mean to you? Uh, I think he is who he is. You know. Uh, He's gonna come here to be, be that guy that he is. That no matter what, every day he's gonna bring that same juice and that same energy. You know, he's not gonna switch up, not gonna change. And uh, he got a lot of guys to gravitate and follow him. You know, so that's that's something that's that's impressive. I know you were asked something similar to this earlier in the week last week, but you said you wanted to be able to play with him. What is it like now having him in your building? Yeah, it's awesome. Just you feel the energy every day. You know, the the, the, the vibes in the building is a lot different. So. Uh, just coming out here, you know, being around him and getting to figure out how he do things, uh, learning from him, uh, it's, it's been great. What's the biggest thing you learned? It's always be, always be chill. Be like when on football field wise, just be chill, man. You know, it's, don't get, don't, don't, don't panic. It's not a, it's not a game that we need to be panicking in. And just go out there and just play the game because if you panic, everybody else around you will panic. So just go out there and be, be chill, and everybody else is gonna be relaxed as well. I know the goal is to go one and zero every week. I get yeah. that. But you're in the playoff hunt. You got some winnable games in front of you. I mean, as a human being, have you looked ahead? And how tough is that to not look ahead 
kind of look where you are in the NFL? Yeah, uh, it's tough to look ahead because of, to be honest, my, me, I don't know who we play until we go into that week. So like for me, I don't know who we have next week. And I feel like every team is the same. Every team is good. Every team is any, anybody come out and beat you on a Sunday. So for me, it's just go out there. I'll figure out who we play going into the week. You know, we might we might mention it at the end of a game on Sunday, but getting prepared leading up to the game. But I don't really look forward past the, the, the game that we play this week right here. Do you know Time for two more days. Do you guys. know what your buy is? No. I just, I just know it's coming up, though. I know it is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a long stretch this yeah, year. It is a long stretch, but, you know, it's – we had, a, we had a Thursday night game early in the year, week three, and uh, for us, it's just we got we to battle through it. You know, we got we had a nine-week stretch, I believe, or a ten-week stretch to where we just, just got to play football. You know, I mean, we got guys banged up. We got to find a way to get healthy, find guys, find, find ways to get guys healthy and just continue to play. You know, no, I mean, that's the schedule, so you just got to play it. Do you like the 17-game schedule? I don't mind it. Uh, I don't mind it for me. It's, my rookie year was what, 17, it was 20, 16 games. It's been always 16 games, 16 games, but you know, it is what it is. That that one extra game really isn't, doesn't bother me at all. All right, guys, we gotta go. Thank Appreciate you. Thanks. 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 Thanks.